Greetings mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun and welcome to Stable Orbit, an early access game about building a space station, which we're going to do an early first impression of, let's call it Necropolis. There's not too much to it right now, I've obviously been playing with the station figured out, there isn't too much going on, not too much to it, it's a bit difficult to figure out what the hell is going on at the very beginning, you've got to play it once or twice, but basically, you have a space station, you're getting paid, you have a balance of like seven and a half billion. And you're trying to build the best space station ever. So to do that, you just need to click on these little things here and build nodes. So first of all, let's get a a power node, small solar array, and where is it? A radiator. Otherwise, the excess heat can't leave the station. So basically, you build that. They run slowly. You need to build stuff like habitat for your engineers and scientists. And the way to make money in this game is building laboratories, laboratories, I want to say that weirdly, and doing contracts for the people down there below you. So the more contracts you can get done, the more money you can make. It's the only way to keep your station afloat. But you also need supplies and people, so you need to build like shuttle docks and stuff like that, which is why I've run so weak. But let's get into it. So let's, um, over here, let's have this. Let's build uh, a truss. Another truss. So you shouldn't need too much to start off with. It's a basic thing. But what we do need is a lab, which should be at one and a half billion, and a small habitat. You do need other things as well. We're going to keep on building. You need um, oxygen production and all sorts. And we're going to get there. In fact, we're going to speed things up. Also, the music is pretty epic. As you can see, we now have those done. We're still building that. There we go. So what we need there is probably oxygen production. There we go. Is there anything being built over here? And we're going to have a small lab over here. That means we can start taking on orders. But down below we're going to have, because we need to get some scientists. Where is it? The shuttle dock, while we can still afford it. So hopefully, as you can see, we now have access to research over here. There we go, we now have power. We do need some batteries. Let's get some batteries put down. So it's building things up, of course, right now. We don't have anything to do. We'll be running out of power very soon. Let's get some batteries for 500 million. And now we should have a... Oh, God, stop. There we go, we have our first shuttle for our first two people. So let's get some research going on. Let's get some basic ones to start off with, which will then be done by our man in the lab, lab number one. We only have one lab. And that will slowly, over time, make us some money. Let's see how our crew. One guy's eating. Marie Malcolm is eating. And Raoul Shepperton. Let's see, we've got shift one, two, three. Okay. So we only have two people right now, of course. And Marie is now doing is some research, the muscle mass study. That's how you make your money. Obviously, you have a lot of stuff over here. You got to keep an eye on water, waste, heat's a big one. Overheating will damage your system. But this is basically it in a nutshell. I'm going to keep an eye on this game. I might want to make a series on it. I'm going to actually have a look and see how interested people are because I'm not too sure how far you can go with the game right now. This game was given to me by the developers, so I am doing it free of charge. Which is awesome for me, and for you, and sometimes even for the developers, they like me, who the hell knows? It's being published by Green Man Gaming. I think you never publish their own stuff these days, but there you go. Oh, this will unlock new modules. But yeah, as you can see, we are getting a bit of power around, we have our station going along, we are doing a bit of research, hopefully get a bit more money, keep on expanding. We have one and a half weeks worth of supplies. Basically, the shuttle only arrives once a week. If your water and your food says less than a week, you're probably gonna get screwed. Because basically, the shuttle comes in, delivers supplies, delivers equipment, and that's what it does. So let's get another truss. We we'll use our trusses as storage. Of course, we're needing money to do that, but there you go. We use our trusses as storage. How about if we get a loss of power? Yeah, we need some more batteries. Let's go over here, and do we have the money for it? We do, with a small solar panel. Let's accept this. 
and this. So yeah, the more power we have, obviously, the better. We're going to need some more battery storage. So our batteries just don't have enough power during the night. Have one been vacated, or people are running out of oxygen. There we go. Perfect. Where about that battery storage? There it is. So yeah, we have some battery storage on the outside. Food storage module, radiators. Where's our power storage? Okay, let's just do some more. Let's do an easy one. We don't want to do the bigger ones just yet. They take too long. We need some more batteries on the outside. So you can see, it's a nice, calming game of management. Two crew, making plenty of oxygen. Water is low. Oh, water is very low. Marie Malparello are leaving station due to critically low water supplies. They can have it. Well, they're both left, we've just lost our scientists. Well, we've got our water back, but now we have no crew. Hopefully they'll come back in the next one, so yes. We need some kind of water production, because otherwise our people will leave every week. Well, they'll be back, eventually. Of course, a week of nothing happening is going to impact our production immensely. So what we'll do is we'll get some more research going on, obviously, when the new scientists and crew arrive. And then we'll actually start building... What do we need to build? Where is it? Oxygen generator, oxygen tanks, water tanks. Maybe a wa water tanks? Maybe it's water tanks. 250 million, get some more water storage. Sod it. As you can see, the game is pretty casual, pretty relaxing, also devilishly difficult when you have to start managing things and your people don't know what the hell they're doing. Of course, right now, nothing's happening. Because we have no scientists. No astronauts, no nothing. But yeah, basically, this is what you do. You just research things, you complete stuff, you hope for the best, and you try and build the best base station you can. And every week you get new people. There we go. Thank you. Okay, let's go for that one, if it looks easy. We're going to need a waste uh, recycler soon. Okay, so we actually need some water tank storage. That is on the back of here, there we go. Come on, come on, uh oh. Come on, we need this done. We really badly need this done. We need the money. So we need a waste recycler right now, because otherwise we're not going to have too much waste and the place will be full of flying poop. Not the thing you kind of want. Come on. Come on. Also, pretty sure the game ends when you run out of money. Come on. Come on. Okay, we just made it by the looks of it. Oh, just made it. So we need a waste recycler. It's full of poop. Cheers, 500 million. Oof. Put up here. So once that is done, we have some waste recycling going on. But yes, basically not too much happens, obviously, yet. Anyway, the game is exceedingly early access. More food has arrived, more people, vaguely. No, we need some more space for more people, but there you go. Let's have that next. Let's have this for new modules afterwards. Come on, there we go. As you can see, the station is basically self-sustaining right now. Let's have food on the back of this one. Food storage module, there we go. But yeah, basically, this is what the game is right now. There's not too much else to it. Obviously you just keep on expanding and growing. You have more labs, more people, more crew. So it's getting a little bit more advanced as time goes by, but yeah, this is it. Okay, let's go for... I don't know, this one. Let's go for that one. And then that one. So you're getting a second lab up would mean obviously more people can work on it. Of course my guys are on different shifts right now, so you know, they're passing the book to each other. This is basically the game as we speak. A little space station floating in the depths of space. I like space. 
Let's have another node get down over here, sod it. I mean, I don't like space as much as Markiplier. I've got an entire song about it, but I do love space. Sci-fi is one of my favourite genres. New crew members only climb to board because you locked oxygen supplies. No oxygen? We have plenty of oxygen. Is it because we don't have any space? Could be a space thing, I guess. Not as in we're in space thing, an actual we have a lack of space thing. So that's the lab. That's the hab, that's the lab. That's hab lab. Let's accept you. There we go. So as you can see, you're still making money. Quite happily. So we have water supply, food supply, waste disposal. We actually need another heat disposal. Where are you? Radiator, there we go. Probably some more batteries would be good too. Let's have another battery storage over here. So basically it's expanding and building it as you see fit. It will look obviously different to mine. Mine is just, yeah. There we go. That's done. Let's get this going. 62, 104, 161, dead simple stuff. Yeah, we can just whack those out. Don't know what I mean, done. Well, there we go. Okay, heat's being done. We have three and a half months supply of that. Did I have a lab? It's a lab. Let's have another one of these. Another node. Mix up that one and that one. So actually another, let's get another hab over here, it's on it. Let's see if we actually have more people on here than we need. Where's the habs? Do you have enough money for the hab? One and a half billion, my god. Okay, we need more money for the habs. So yeah, getting more crew and obviously more science is going to take a little while. Let's get another oxygen generator. Oh, that's one billion. Sleep deprived, they have quarters. Not my fault, they're going to sleep. It's got, I say it's got plenty. Weird. Maybe they just don't like sleeping. Who the hell knows? But yeah, we're going to have another one over here, sod it. Where's the hab? Come on, keep going, we need some more money as a buffer. There we go. Okay, we've got another hab going on, that'll mean more people wandering around. We'll have to keep an eye on our power levels. The batteries are of course going a little, oh god. Take that one, then that one, then that one. What was that big one I just took? 66 million, that's fine. So your power is currently low, we can do that, dead easy, dead simple, dead simple. They're probably sounding more frantic than the whole situation requires, but you know, you've got to add a bit of energy and power here somewhere. We could all be dead. God, 66 million. Another one of these. Let's take this one as well while we're at it. Oh. This could actually be an issue, this one. The more of these I have, the more power I have in the batteries, of course. So the main issue right now is, of course, I'm not doing power during the night. There we go. Of course, I have everything on high speed as well. We're looking at hours after hours after hours going past. Come on. Come on. Give me the 600 million. I like money. Give me the money. Give me the money. Give me the money. Also, the music obviously doesn't have enough of it right now. It just sort of goes quiet every now and then. Did it! Okay, maybe we just need some oxygen storage, because I keep saying there's not enough oxygen. Do we have any oxygen tanks we can put down? Okay, let's put an oxygen tank down, sod it. I'll see how well that does. Three weeks of oxygen, there we go, that's a lot more oxygen. Water's fine, power is still an issue, that's a problem to be fair. 
What's this? Cycle one. Okay, let's have another power one here. Can we have another one here? Small. I've got a medium. Oh, a lodge has just appeared. I don't remember there being a lodge. Oh, it's locked. Never mind. Let's get a medium one down if we can. So yeah, I'd like to get some more labs, some more stuff, keep going and all that, but yes. Basically what you've seen is the entirety of the game as it currently stands. This game is in early access, you can see in the bottom right, it's version 0.72. Uh, Perihelion expansion. There isn't much to it right now. The basics are here, the mechanics are here, the whole base building is here. I mean, I'd like to honestly see the... Um, Honestly, I would love to see the actual base being brought up by, you know, ships and things, but it's not. Like, I would absolutely love to see stuff being brought up by shuttle as opposed to just appearing out of nowhere, but that's a me thing, I guess. It could be a future thing, I don't know. That is not me saying it is, I'm just wishing that was how it would be. Because right now it's a little bit... Empty? Yeah, empty's a good word. You've seen all the mechanics, you know how it works. You click on the circles to build more stuff. Obviously, once you've built a, a module, you can't build any more on it. You can only build off of the nodes and the trusses. So if you build you know, too much stuff, it just obviously takes over completely. That is a big one. Okay, I'm overdosing on the heat. That's a weird thing to say out loud, but there you go. Take it. Take it. I need a radiator. Too much heat will actually start damaging things, but yeah. So this has been Stable Orbit. Not really much else to show. We've got plenty of oxygen, we've got plenty of water, we've got plenty of food. We have five crew now. Uh, like I say, the oxygen is fine, the water is fine, the food is fine. Currently, we have plenty of money. Like, it's getting to the point where I should build a second lab. Maybe I will. Yeah, sod it. Maybe I will. Can I build another lab here? Yeah, there we go. There's now a lab there. Yeah, I'd like the music to obviously last a bit longer. We have now stuff being sent to lab 2, as you can see. So lab 1 and 2 are now both active. And there you go, we now have two labs making money. The heat's being dropped significantly, waste is being kept fine, food is fine, power is... Need more batteries, need a lot more batteries. There's batteries there. So power currently is fine-ish. And there you have it, this is Stable Orbit. There's not really much else to say. Obviously the station can go wherever the hell you like. So we have Habs and Labs. We have research going on quite happily. We have plenty of food. We're basically stable right now. We are literally in a stable orbit with a stable cash flow. Two labs going. Power's fine. We could do a bit more, I guess, but power is fine, honestly. I don't know if you, you know you can come out of orbit. That does not seem to be a thing I've run into yet. Like I say, this is a first impression, not a big in-depth one. This is my opinion of the game, my view of the game, showing off the game. But yeah, I'd really like those not to just appear as a no. That is almost touching. Ooh. Ooh, now that is good engineering. But yeah. So I'd honestly like to see a lot more of it. I see, obviously, ships bringing the pieces to you. I suppose I'm just appearing out of nowhere. It's small things like that, which obviously build up the whole immersion of the game. You need to immerse yourself in the ability of the game, the style of the game, and everything like that. Once you start feeling like there's no... Um, 
immersion because you know things just appear out of nowhere. You start thinking, it's a game. Do I care about these people? And do you ever the rule of thumb is no, you don't care about these people. You really start realising you just don't actually care about these people. Let's upgrade you to Earth and Space Sciences specialisation, I guess. That's why I love the games where everything is either in character or tongue in cheek, because it's either always felt like a game or always felt immersive. Like this is you know what's going on, you're a part of the world. I don't kinda like the games just make it in between. I mean it could literally just be because they haven't yet built that part, and this is just a me thing, but yeah. I'm trying to build a station, I'm getting the research going, obviously it's a bit eh, because the whole is going in, and you don't see little people wandering around, but just stuff just appearing breaks it for me. Again, these are my impressions, of course if you like how the game looks, before you made your mind up. This is just a me thing. I'm hopeful that the future of this game is pretty bright, but as of now, I would only suggest picking it up if you like what you see. It is bare bones as of this moment. It's a good little simulation, but yeah, it's a bit bare bones as of this moment. See, active, sleeping, shift, one, two, three, one, two, good. When employed. Left in space level two, left in space level three. They're all being done by the same lab, aren't they? They upgraded to the earth and space, yeah. Okay, so anyway, I have been the Fallen Shogun, this has been Stable Orbit. A fun yet currently bare bones game, published by Green Man Gaming. If you enjoyed it, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you comment over, reply, if you like, more Who's That Indie games will be shown as first impressions. And of course, if you subscribe, you do become part of the Fallen. You do know new videos and series come out. And at the end of the last battle, I will see you in Valhalla. Ciao for now, people. Bye bye. It's a shame, really.